A giant hand has emerged from Fortnite's island and inside Chapter 5's biggest teaser has been revealed. Now we all had to work together to break the chains and finally Pandora's box has been opened. Now when you approach the box and listen carefully, you'll almost hear screams and that's intentional. The box has unleashed curses and souls which are escaping from the underworld and things are about to get ugly. Our list of the greatest teasers finally has a new spot, but is it the best we've ever had? Well, let's go back in time to August of 2020. It was a time where we were all locked down minding our own business when this hole spawned out of nowhere. It seemed empty until we got really close noticing a small hammer in the middle. During this time, the MCU was taking the world by storm, it was impossible to to ignore Thor's hammer. Around the same time, players went to the other side of the island only to find Bifrost markings on a cliff. Everything seemed to relate to the God of Thunder as fans assumed it was just another crossover in the works, but Epic wasn't slowing down. So they revealed an in-game comic book in the Battle Pass lobby. When you clicked it, it opened a story that showed Thor chasing Galactus to the Fortnite island as he summoned other heroes alongside him. From Iron Man to Groot and She-Hulk, we quickly realized this was no ordinary collab, it was an entire Marvel season. But sometimes we find teasers outside of the game entirely. Back in October 2023, creators woke up to a mysterious item in their backyard. What on earth? It's eight foot tall. I am speechless right now. I don't think this is supposed to be here. Epic? Did y'all lose something? Whether it was Dusty Diner or a Durburger mascot, they were so confused. But the reveal would finally set in as the world received care packages from Fortnite asking, oh, where are we dropping? Upon opening, they found pins from chapter one, a pair of dog tags, and a vinyl record. To put the icing on the cake, Fortnite included a video montage of the creator playing Chapter 1. It was one of the most personalized teasers they have ever sent, and they truly went all out to reveal OG. I'll say we're a lot more confused when Fortnite posted some pretty weird images in 2021, revealing a unicorn with a pulse rifle. It was interesting to say the least until we looked in the bottom corner and there was a part of a QR code. Immediately, we knew this was about to get crazy. As more images released, we saw a girl holding a katana and a monkey going to space. Of course, there was one common theme more pieces of this puzzle. Players eventually stitch them together and scan the code, leading them to an unlisted video on Fortnite's channel simply titled September 13, 2021. These nine seconds blew us away, especially the reveal of Carnage. Still not as insane as the previous season invasion, which literally turned Fortnite's player base into a bunch of conspiracy theorists. Near the end of Primal, a mysterious radio show appeared introducing us to Mari. Hello? Is this on? I've been seeing UFOs in the sky for months. I think it is time to embrace the fact that we are not alone in the universe. This podcast brought on guests from Save the World and other Fortnite characters as they explained their encounters with extraterrestrial life. But surely it was just a conspiracy until players themselves began to see aliens. Oh, what happened? Our friends getting abducted was the last try. It was now time to believe, and that's when Fortnite took things to the next level. Mari's podcast was shut down by a mysterious government figure, just in time for content creators to receive packages at their door. They included CD players with drone footage of a crop circle. It was a real life location that was in the creator's own country, as Ali A got UK footage, Cypher PK's video was in Texas, and Loser Fruit alongside Muselk spotted Australian crop circles. These eventually turned into extremely difficult puzzles involving us cracking a cipher working out number problems and leading us to an island code that revealed three words, the last reality. But they weren't the only villain to terrify us. During Wilds, we explored the jungle and found an ancient telescope known as the Apparatus. It was surrounded by etchings that showed us how to use it, as NPCs told us about the device being a stellar projector. We had to use the dialogue and clues around the jungle to figure out what this apparatus truly was. As the season progressed, it became clear what was about to happen, an eclipse that would bring destruction and fear to the island, just as creators received a pass. Package. It reinforced the idea of the eclipse with a framed artwork, showing a blood red moon along with a note. Thank you for the addition to my collection. Signed, Kato Thor. The addition he's talking about was something from the creator's houses, like stealing squatting dog's Lego Vespa and Redish's plan. This eventually led to Kato Thor's reveal in season four, bringing the vampire's eclipse to the island. But the jungle had an exciting buildup of its own. Just outside of Mega City, players began to notice huge cracks in the ground. Very easy to miss, and anyone who's driven over a bad road would just assume it's normal damage. Damage. But if you look closely at the cracks, it wasn't your average pothole. Something was beginning to emerge from under the surface. We started to see roots growing from the cracks. It was an entire ecosystem down there. And that was before the new season trailer dropped, collapsing the island and revealing wilds. Now 
was it the only thing to break out of the ground? Towards the end of Chapter 3's opening season, earthquakes began to appear. Now, of course, we're all used to them by now. It's like Fortnite's favorite thing, but these weren't a natural occurrence. It was the work of drills. Massive tanks and blimps prepared to launch a full-scale invasion of the island, and you could follow the earthquake's path to see it unfolding in real time just before the IO broke free and declared war. Now, I personally love when Fortnite breaks out of the game, giving us actual teasers to explore in the real world. In the lead up to one of the most iconic seasons, fans discovered billboards around the globe. They featured phone numbers that you could call, belonging to a mysterious agency. Agency recruitment drive is a go. Happy hunting agent. Agent. Oil rig operation confirmed. Well, if that wasn't interesting enough, some people decided to put this audio through a spectrogram and it would return secret images of a cat and a dead fish. For those in game, they noticed that the center island also had a new update. This seemingly abandoned house now had golden furniture along with a secret document on the toilet. Everyone had no idea what to expect until Fortnite dropped official teaser images, a set of redacted files revealing pixelated items. If you paid attention to the backgrounds though, you realize it showed multiple POIs. Eventually, people matched them up to the island, figuring out exactly where these would be, and it got even more genius. These hints all came together to spell one word, or technically name, Midas. And just a few days later, the world would be introduced to one of the most famous seasons in Fortnite history. A teaser which hasn't come to fruition yet just took everyone by surprise. Out of nowhere, Fortnite revealed that Disney had become a major shareholder of Epic Games. They dropped a trailer to confirm it, teasing an upcoming shared universe that'll bring dozens of crossovers to Fortnite. We spotted Monsters University, the V8 Cafe from Cars, even Disney's Cruise Line. One of the coolest teasers Fortnite has ever done was hiding in plain sight. The best kind of hint is foreshadowing that you never notice, like when Peely began to take driving lessons. It seemed like a random side quest that happens every season. We always get these mini stories. So as we follow Peely around, we watch as he tried to learn the basics, crash multiple vehicles, and then approached a slurp truck. This was right before the collision event, and we were so excited that we kind of forgot about his little adventure, only for us to be wounded during the live event and have a familiar face come to the rescue. It's worth a shot. Of course, you can't forget about one of the most interactive teasers we have ever had. In the lead up to the unvaulting event, players were given a ton of runes to figure out. These symbols made no sense at first until days later when they reappeared at other locations on the map. We realized that to unlock the vault, these keys had to slot into the runes. Out of pure excitement, everyone logged in to help with the event, causing us to move this piece way faster than Epic ever expected. They immediately buffed it with millions of health to slow us down before releasing even more puzzles. Now we had to connect laser beams, show off our dance moves and match colors, all leading us to unlocking the vault. You never know when Fortnite is hinting at something, whether it's Indiana Jones' fridge on the map or a replica of John Wick's house. But we know stranger things when we see it, like the reveal of Scoops Ahoy at Mega Mall. At the time, crossovers weren't that common, so we all assumed it was just an Easter egg and Epic were fans of the show. But this was a teaser, eventually bringing the upside down to Mega Mall, unleashing the demo gorgon, and adding Hopper to the item shop. Years later, we assumed the collab was over, until a mysterious upside down room appeared at Grim Gables. This house had a grandfather clock, which for some reason was also upside down. Once again, we all thought it was just a reference or an easter egg, but we really should have learned our lesson when a year later part 2 dropped giving us 11. One of the most popular teasers we've ever had though completely broke the internet. Out of nowhere, a real life Durr burger appeared in the California desert. Fans immediately got in their cars and drove down to check it out, finding professional actors, a police car replica, and if you looked on Google Maps, it showed a giant hole in the ground. A couple days later, the trailer for season 5 dropped showing how the Durr burger got here, but this rabbit hole went even deeper. That's because the view from Google Maps was teasing the vault all along. One of the creepiest teasers we've ever got involved Chrome. While the season wasn't exactly popular, the build up to it was incredible as a commercial for skin cream creeped everyone out. Check this out. Then attention turned to a more chilling product, Lamos, a fictional cereal that looked delicious but had a sinister secret. To intimidate us even more, creators began to find llama o deliveries in the mail, and of course, they were covered in chrome. But that wasn't enough, it even spread to New York, covering a giant billboard in 3D right in the middle of Times Square. 
A clue that no one really remembers was hiding on the roof of Flesh Factory back in Chapter 1. Players built up here to find a parachute stuck on the chimney, before a loading screen revealed it was the drop point of a robot called AIM. He was watching over us as something began to approach the island. We felt snow fall from the sky as we looked into the distance and saw an iceberg. It was approaching fast, and before we knew it, this teaser became an entire POI in Season 7. AIM wasn't the only secret skin to intrigue us. During this winter theme, we were introduced to the prisoner. He was trapped in the dungeons of Polar Peak before escaping and leading us on a secret quest line. We broke him free of the shackles before helping him ignite his powers. This burned the forest at Wailing Woods, creating earthquakes as the prisoner was revealed to be the Fire King. It is so great to have Fortnite teasers back. Click on screen right now if you want to watch our latest secrets video. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.